what's up guys so i thought this was actually pretty interesting pretty cool um always thought his personality is this way and he just goes to show it is still has that uh that humble vibe that's what i like about just anybody in general you know if you have a, a good humble vibe to yourself and you treat others you know with kindness and respect that to me is like a total you know like if you know in a woman too like if i find that that is like totally like the greatest trait if you don't have a big head about yourself and you know for him to not have gotten that way which i know a ton of people have all of a sudden they release something and they think oh my god there's so like so many people like me now and now i'm gonna act like the shit like i've seen it so many times but with him he's still the same guy i mean i love it so let's get into this interview why is now the right time for los angeles to be released in the world i feel like los angeles means a lot to me at least and i feel like now is the time to express yourself and really say what's on your mind and uh, really wanted to present that with this ep in the years of playing and practicing and making music and producing music i feel like i've really learned how to really express myself and, and how i'm feeling and the emotion of that through music how do I decide how my visuals will look like? With home, I didn't want to be in it. I really wanted to tell a story. But with cell phones, I wanted to really put a music video out that kind of conveys how the emotion of the song is. I feel like it, it really matters on terms of like what the song really is trying to say. And I try to really kind of incorporate that in, into the music video. The, the new EP will definitely have visuals for each song. It's gonna be a vibe. I love visuals, you know, this is like, I'm, I'm so stoked. Hey, I'm Scary Pool Party, and these are the top five things to know about me. The first thing you should know about Scary Pool Party is I was homeschooled, if you couldn't tell, uh, <laughs> since I was a kid through my teens. You have a lot of time to be creative and you have a lot of time to really be wherever you want to be, you know what I mean? Like, you, you don't really have like that perspective of going to a set schedule, which is kind of crazy, you know? But as far as my own outlook on homeschooling, it was kind of crazy because I would always be jealous of people that would go to public school and all, all that stuff, you know, because it's like, you know, they have friends and they're all like, you know, doing a lot of work and they have a schedule and I just wake up and I'm like, go outside, look at bugs, go back inside, watch Digimon and then just go to sleep and do it again. Like, you know, I'll try to make a friend, you know, I'll say hi to somebody and then I'll say hi back. I'm like, all right, <laughs> and stuff like that. Oh my god, when they said lockdown, I was like, man, I've been in lockdown since, <laughs> since I was a kid. I'm good. I'm like, I'm fine. That was totally me, too. When everybody was like, oh, we have to be in lockdown or going out rioting, make it a big old deal of it. I'm like, I am totally fine with that. You don't have to worry. I could just chill in my crib all day long. So I get what he's saying right there. <laughs> <laughs> I love games. I mean, being homeschooled didn't help that because I was playing games like all the time, but I'm like obsessed with Mario Kart. Same and so I feel like anybody who wants to challenge me, please step forward and I'll show you what's up. And I'll probably double lap you really fast. The next thing you should know about me is Scare Pool Party, I guess would be, I like cooking. That's pretty prevalent. I learned from being homeschooled like my family cooks a lot. And I would say one thing that I do love cooking is, which is probably not good for my health, but I just love pizza. I'm like always looking for new recipes on doughs and stuff. So the next thing uh, that people would not know about me is that I can probably front flip off of anything and never land it. I was like thinking about this. I was like, I ran out of things. I'm so boring. All I do is watch anime, <laughs> play games, make music, and that's it. I had to rethink my whole life when I thought of these questions. So the last thing you should know about me is I'm actually straight edge. I've never had a sip of alcohol, nothing at all in my life. It's just like a personal thing, I, I guess. People do question it all the time. Like if I get offered like a drink or something, I'm like, no, I'm good. Like I'll, I'll just like drink this Coke Zero. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. The first major tour, I was playing with this band and his name's Twin Shadow. And the first like show we played, I remember they were like all like, you know, just celebrating it was a fun time. And they're like, you drank? And I was like, no. And you're like, what? 
<laughs> he's like, I didn't know that. I was like, I don't know. And he's like, oh, well, <laughs> that's it. It's like, usually it's that reaction. It's just like, oh, all right, cool. How I celebrate things really matters because I celebrate it in a really kind of nerdy way. First of all, I love playing Apex, which is, uh, you know, a game. And I'm like, man, this is a great feeling. I want to play some Apex and then I'll play some Mario Kart. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? It sounds good right now. Like, I want to celebrate. I'm going to go to Costco and get some pizza and then I'm going to go get some bubble tea. And so then that's how I celebrate. I'm very, I'm very easygoing. If you put on a good movie and you're like, hey, like, you feeling good? I'm like, yeah. They're like, let's watch this movie. I'm like, dang, this is great. <laughs> Man, I could totally jive with him. He is such a cool person. And uh, there was that uh, behind the scenes of when he um, went back for the, the season after um, Lane Hardy had won. Uh, they have him go back and talk to the people. And, you know, one of those girls had said, like, you know, we're here because of him. So, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, I don't know how the voting works. And like I've said in other videos, it, it to me... And if you go back and look when they announce the winners, it honestly looks to me like even Ryan Seacrest was like pissed. Like he just looks at it like almost kind of has it like you got to fucking be kidding me. And I mean, you know, I don't know. I've heard some pa some people say like, oh, Lane Hardy's going to have to live in his shadow. You know, I don't. You know, the kid didn't do anything wrong, but, you know, won a competition. But it doesn't mean that, you know, he was going to have a more flourishing career. And I don't, I don't wish him to have a bad career. I hope he succeeds, you know, just as much. I mean, you know, these are young guys, young adults. And, you know, these are the times of their lives where that really, you know, dictate moving forward. Because you see what happens with celebrity kids. Um, you know, how terrible their lives end up to be because, you know, they didn't listen to the right people or do the right things. There's also a discussion that we have talked about with Alejandro is that. Um, you know, I hope that he surrounds himself with good people, um, you know, people that are, uh, you know, uh, managing his affairs. Um, he looks like the type, though, that he has enough time on his hands. You know, I, I'm going to kind of retract what I said before. I think he's definitely the type to, uh, you know, look at his look at his own affairs, look at his own money, look at his own management. The only thing that I, I will not retract and that I do not understand for the life of me is why he's not um, starting to open up, you know, bigger shows. Um, you know, he'll be headlining shows, you know, and that's for sure. But... They're at smaller venues. I know the ones here in Colorado that uh, he came to uh, play, they weren't, they really weren't that big. Um, and it's because people still don't know him. So as fans, I hope we all get the word out that you guys tell your friends, hey man, you gotta, you gotta definitely check this dude out on Google. You know, he's, he's a hell of a freaking, he's like a prodigy. You know, one to the other, to the other, to the other. And I mean, then it grows like, you know, like grass fire. But I mean, he's so just chill and laid back. And that's also like kind of like my personality. I feel like him and I could get along, and I know I'd be able to be him in Mario Kart because that was like my favorite name ever. Um, I don't well now. Let me take that back. He says he plays every day, and he's much more polished than me. So now he could probably be me now. But <laughs> I. Used to